Good evening, everyone. Um, today, I'd like to show you how to install the driver for the Zoom V6. And after that, we will look into installing um, the Zoom Gitter Lab. Yes, that was the thing. Okay, let's get right to it. You can see I downloaded the, the driver from the Zoom web page and unzipped it. And it contains two files. So very important, the Zoom V6 must not be connected. So um, just the driver needs to ins be installed first. So I'm, I'm starting this installation process. And see setup language. I think I, I will leave that. Obviously, accepting the stuff. Okay, that's quite simple. Let's see what the included instruction says, what, what we need to do now. So it guides you through every step here. So that's actually quite simple. I think I will skip this confirming thing. Oh, maybe, maybe we can do that quickly. Okay, so you can see the B6 driver has been installed, so looks all fine. Good, I think we are good here. And the same for the Mac, it's obviously a little bit different. So now let's now it's getting interesting. So I'm going to connect the unit now for the first time. Let's see if that all works. So you need uh, the USB cable. Unfortunately, is not included. So you need to get one. And unfortunately, you need a micro USB. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I don't know why they, okay, for a new device, are not going with USB C. But okay. So just connecting the unit now. And so I have it, I have it switched off. Okay, and now let's see what happens. Okay, so here's what happens when the driver is installed and you switch on the unit. You can see I connected the USB cable to the PC. Uh, 
and you can see you get this uh, message which looks like an error message but it's not it's just indicating that the us cable is usb cable is connected and when you then look at the at the pc and you can see that there is a new speaker control see here lines line zoom v6 audio and when you s select that one then all the sound from the computer goes to the zoom and then uh, when you attach your you attach your headphones to the output here the amp then all the sound comes out of here and uh, and additionally you can hear your bass as well so that's very practical for just uh, practicing without speakers so practicing in the evening is very nice with that function so play the the play along on the pc and then connect the bass and you there's nothing more you need so let's install the guitar lab as you can see here i downloaded it from the web page it comes with three files the executable an installation guide and the soft uh, software version history let's take a look in the installation guide Actually, the documentation as such in general is very nice. So I will show you some examples in an extra video, I guess. But let's take a look here, if there's something special. Okay, so the instruction, just see is there something special? Not really, just a standard installation yes nothing interesting here let's just do it We will not launch it now. Well, why not? Let's let's just do that. So the device is not found. That's clear. Let's switch it on. Let's see if that already works like this or if I need to kind of Okay, so the zoom is running. Well, probably we need to to restart so i had a hard time finding out why it says no device found although it's connected and it says uh, data cable okay but finally i found out so with power cycling like on and off does not help but if you go to another mode some point it switches so this is definitely a little bit wonky i hope that they fix that 
some point so it needs it takes obviously quite a while to recognize the the unit